Little Mermaid. Yes. <laughs> Is it really? Yes, that's what I was about to draw. <laughs> that was from that. I see a line, I see another line. It looks like a big house. It looks like a house with a reindeer. It looks like Jonathan's just learning how to draw for the first time. There's sun, there's a mountain range. People, uh, is it Lord of the Rings? Is that person God? Lion King, yes! Uh, 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 but not, not just Simba. Like... Yes! I did all that off of that. It's actually really good. Next. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Aladdin. Nope. Um, Little Mermaid. Okay, I see a heavy set giraffe. <laughs> uh, I see a person who has a very, oh, 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 Maleficent. Yes! That's great. That one is actually great. I don't know why Maleficent has a body of a mountain range, but. <laughs> um. You got this. You're doing great. Little Mermaid. Uh, yes. <laughs> Is it really? Yes, that's what I was about to draw. <laughs> that was from that. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I may be a psychic. I want that, I want to have access to that recording because that's the moment <laughs> when I realized that I was a superhero. <laughs> um, okay, that is Olaf. You're very good. No, this is... Uh, or we're just really connected. We're, we're really connected. Okay. Um, that is a person who's wearing... I love that all of your people have, like, long capes. Anna, Elsa. Yes. Both? Uh, Elsa. Mm. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Well, I just did a duet with Ariana Grande on my holiday album, so which the Lopez's, who wrote the music from Frozen, wrote. It's an original song, so that's that would be cool. Maybe like Adele would be cool. Some dream duets of mine have been Bono and um, Annie Lennox. I definitely feel like a Christoph Beyonce Ooh. right combo seems mm -hmm. like it makes the most sense. Just seems the most obvious. The reindeer are better than people. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't think an Olaf song can really be covered unless it's by U2. That feels perfect yeah. for that character. Yeah. Emotional, Emotional, strong. There's an Irish sort of quality yeah. about In Summer <laughs> that feels like it wants to be covered by Bono and the yeah. Edge. Yeah, it's asking for it. Yeah. Maybe I'd put her into The Little Mermaid and let her give, you know, get, lend her voice to, um, what's her name? What's her name in that movie? Ariel. Giselle? Ariel. <laughs> Giselle, Ariel. Yeah, because I don't like that Ariel gives up her voice for the man in Little Mermaid, so I have a problem with Disney for that. Elsa would definitely go and use some powers and allow, you know, let her have her voice back. I'd love to do a crossover with Moana, yeah. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Like, I'd love to see like Elsa and Moana both taking on the water. Like, clearly, yeah. they both have like great like water superpowers. So like. That would be cool. That would be cool. And like, I'd love Olaf to just befriend that that stupid rooster. Totally. Hey, hey. They would be hilarious yeah. together. Also, Bobby and Kristen to write songs with Lim. That would be, let's make this happen. Why okay. have we not made this happen? I think we should make it happen. Hey, I asked you a question. Oh, um. <laughs> Getting so pissed that you're not doing it right now. Go out there, <laughs> solve this. Uh, non-singing projects. I'd love to see Mindhunter the musical. I think that that would be unexpected. <laughs> that would be unexpected. Yeah. How, how would that first opening song go? What do you think I'm doing? I'm hunting some mines. <laughs> I'm a mine hunter and I have the time to figure out your issues. To figure out why you're so dark. To figure out your issues. And why you kill people in parks? It's great. Oh, I have to pick one of Josh's projects. Give you, okay. I give you pixels and raise you five. What? <laughs> Go. Do you even know pixels? Do you no, even know what? I, no, I don't know. What You've pixels. never seen any of my work, have you? I have seen a lot of your work. Okay, here's here. Take uh, Book of Mormon and make it a non-musical. Bird. 
Do it as a drama. Do it as a Jacobian okay. drama. <laughs> I see this my problem. I have trouble not smiling. Okay. It would be like... Mm -hmm. He's ringing a doorbell. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to ring a doorbell and say hello without yeah. smiling, but yeah. I can't do but it. You can't do it. No. Why haven't we done that? Why haven't we done a Moana Frozen crossover, and why haven't we done <laughs> uh, a Frozen karaoke? You're event? really inspiring a lot of events. Wait a second. We have three days in London. Let's go out and, and shower this town with okay. Frozen songs. Get ready, London. Yeah, stars are Into born. The <laughs> In the honor. No, we hang, but we've been hanging a couple times doing stuff that we have to do for Frozen, and we really like each other. I think there's a camaraderie or some kind of bond, maybe because we all come from the theater as well, and we just can appreciate the hard work that goes into stuff like this, and, and when you hit something big and it's important to really embrace that moment together. I don't know. I think you'd be a great Captain America. I think, well, clearly the role is open now, so I might as well uh, go after it. Oh, I used to always want to play Wonder Woman when I was little. I used to have to put silver bracelets on. I used to try to jump off the bed in slow motion, which is impossible. But I would just, in my head, do that with my little bracelet. So it would definitely be Wonder Woman. You would make a killer superhero, by the way. Thank you. Why has that not happened? I have so many why hasn't this happened I questions know. this morning. The Moana Frozen crossover. <clears throat> yes. Why have Sing you... along around the piano. Yes. And me as a superhero. Wonder Woman. Oh, you'd be a great Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, I'd be up for any kind of duet with Brendan. <laughs> the Lopez's who write all the music for Frozen, they have a way of capturing just that perfect uh, feeling that the character and me as a human being are experiencing at the same time. We both tried this morning, actually. Yeah. It did not go well. It did not go well. No. We were just talking about this. Yeah. The Panic at the Disco and the Oof. Adina versions, it's like, it's- You're so high. Yeah. Not many within the household. My son is kind of sick of me singing. It could be any song, it's not Let It Go. It's just, he, he's just like, I embarrass him, mom embarrasses him. But then I get to sing it, you know, all over the world whenever I'm doing a concert tour and it's a great gift in my life to, to have a song like that, that, that connects with so many people. Never. No I've one's never, ever asked me to sing I've like never that. been asked to sing Let It Go. No. Oh no, that's not true. I've been asked to sing Let It Go for like press and like, Hey, Josh, can you sing a song that you don't sing in? Didn't we sing Let It Go at the end of Bobby and Chris? Yes, we did a, like a, a celebration of, of our uh, composers at Lincoln Center. And that, I think that was one of the first times we ever sang Let It Go. Just the magnitude of it, I think, is surprising. I don't think we ever set out for that. I mean, we knew we were doing a Disney film and a musical, and that was a milestone in our lives and we loved what we were doing and we knew it was it was good and special, but we had no idea it would become the phenomenon that it's become. All of it? Like, it was just so surreal seeing how instantaneously it connected with people of all ages, not just kids. Chris Buck said something that I think was really profound, which is the amount of people who have come up to, you know, Chris and Jen especially, and said, thank you, I'm here today because of that movie, because at the time uh, before that movie came out, I was considering ending my life or, or things that are really just deep and, and they said, let it go allowed me to literally come to terms with who I am and be at peace with who I am. I mean, I think when anytime you have an impact like that where a film connects so personally to somebody that it allows them the courage to confront you know, the really dark things. It's, it's pretty incredible. That was beautiful. <laughs>